This one should be a little bit more calming. Yes, this is a calming one. Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't holding the scissors when you did it. Jeez, I could have hurt myself. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm Mallory. Choose behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> And we got a new craft for you today. Uh, if you haven't already, don't leave us untapped. Tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to miss one of our crafty journeys again. We are gonna start out with a beer pour today because it's the best way to do crafts. Agreed. This craft is for Phase 3 Brewing Company. Beautiful brewery, amazing beer. Highly recommended if you're ever in this area to check them out because they're actually in my top five right now for breweries. And I've been to a lot of breweries. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're in my top five. I adore them. Amazing. The staff is phenomenal. It's, it's all good. I have here one of their flagships. Flag shops. What's a flag shop? It's that what's in your hand. <laughs> it's a flagship. Oh. <laughs> flagship beers. Uh, this is their West Coast Pixel Density. Bring the can down here so you can see their little pixels thing there that's pretty cute. I like it. This one's a 6.5 ABV. Um, it does not give me IBUs, but it being a West Coast, I'm expecting to see my face fall apart a little bit. So, <clears throat> but you know, it's still growing on me. Slowly but surely, I'm getting, and I'm getting to where I recognize more types of hops now, which is kind of exciting. That's kind of fun. All right, let's give it a pour. Nice light golden color. So let's give this one a sniff, see what it's like. Mmm, citra? I feel like I'm smelling citra. It does not tell me which hops they used, but definitely getting that citrus kind of thing. And also a tropical, a tropical note. I'm not getting any funk. Hmm. Cheers everyone to a brand new craft. That's a, lot, that's a lot of hop. It broke her eyeball. <laughs> it did break my eyeball. You're gonna, I, I'm gonna have to show a slow-mo of my eye going all weird, aren't I? Um, yeah, that's a lot of hop. It's a very sudden, very sharp bite, and it finishes tropical juice. Uh, definitely got a little grapefruit, but there's something else in there, almost like a dragon fruit or um, something really sweet, like a, like, I mean, kind of pineapple. The initial hop bite is sharp. It stings almost a little bit, but for hop lovers, that's exactly what you're looking for, especially in your West Coast style. This one just ends East Coast, which I find really interesting because you get to travel the length of the country right here in this beer. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> now Chu's shaking his hands at me because he wants the beer. Mm. Here you go, sugar. You know, by the third sip, that bite isn't as sharp. <laughs> it makes me hiccup. That first sip shocked me, but it was also my first IPA of the day, and I wasn't ready for the hops, I guess. I should have been a little more prepared. But by the third or fourth sip, I'm actually really enjoying this, and I love that it's a soft, juice close. I still smell the hops on the breath, but yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I'm in, I'm enjoying yeah. this quite a bit. I'm gonna set it out of the way because I have to do a rundown of what we're doing today. <laughs> so Chu will get a sip or two. <laughs> <laughs> Our craft today is for Phase Three Brewing. Um, their theme inside is hummingbirds and flowers. That's a a big theme within their uh, their logo is a hummingbird. So I decided to make them a hummingbird feeder. Now. Rather than mold the plastic myself, which is a little bit beyond my level, uh, I did pick up a feeder. And I kind of like that the glass is kind of shaped like, not a Pilsner glass, a uh, Weizen glass. Uh, this is shaped a bit like a Weiss, uh, wheat beer glass, right? Um, We're going to be painting the bottom dark green, because uh, green, white, and kind of like soft pink is uh, prevalent colors at their brewery. 
I will be replacing these little flowers here. Some fake flowers, which are more the color th theme. The top is gonna be painted chalk white. Have that here. And the glass, I'm actually going to be using glass paint to stain the glass yellow. So it's going to look like a beer with a head on top and then the flowers for the hummingbirds to eat from. I thought it sounded kind of cute. I'm kind of excited to give them a beer hummingbird feeder so it looks like they're giving all the hummingbirds beer. <laughs> it made me chuckle and I'm kind of excited. One of the biggest things I have to be super, super careful about with this craft, however, is not getting any paint on the inside of this product. It will be used to feed animals. And if there's paint in there, it could kill animals and I don't want that to happen. So you'll notice I will be very meticulous with my masking tape. We got some painting to do. So we are going to hit up painting the top, painting the bottom and painting the glass first off. And then while the paint dries, I get to finish my beer. So are we ready? Glass is gonna be pretty simple, I think. I do have a specific, it's called plaid gallery glass. Sunny yellow is the color stained glass effect paint. All I have to do is make sure I don't get it down in here and we're all good. Nice and simple. I do need to clean the glass well first. I will be using dish soap. Yeah, to make sure there's no, and uh, to get all the oils off my hands as well. This, I'm gonna pop these little flowers off of here because I know they come off, there we go. See how that's open on the inside? That's where the food goes. I gotta make sure that none is getting down in there. And it actually has this neat little feature where if you twist this thing on the bottom, little, little landing spots come out for the birds, which I thought was pretty darn cute. Painting this section right here, just the lid, which screws onto a closed glass top so I don't have to worry about the masking tape on the inside for this one. And I need my beer. Mm. Quit drinking my beer. <sighs> Obligatory shake and sip, everyone. I would love to see other folks attempt this because it's funny and awkward at the same time. So first you really gotta get that arm going. Get that arm going. It's good for your biceps anyway, triceps. Ow. <laughs> I might've hit the ridge of my nose with the glass that time. That was unfortunate. All right, hand the beer off to Chew. Woohoo! Hmm. This will need more than one coat. I'm gonna start on the stain painting of the glass here first. I wanna start with the base, cause that's the part I'm not as concerned it being messed up and I can test out my skills with this stuff cause I've never used this before. I'm ready to give this stuff a try. See how it goes. I hear a kitty somewhere. Shut up kitty. So I'm seeing a lot of streaks here. I don't know if that comes off with the wash or if I will have to buy another hummingbird feeder. <laughs> We're on to day two of our phase three hummingbird feeder. And I have here from phase three, Pixel Density. This is one of their flagship beers. It is an IPA. Ooh, and it just attacked everything. <laughs> That was an excited beer right there. It's a 6.5% ABV. To be uh, entirely honest, I've had this one before at the brewery, but that was like our first visit, so a couple years ago. I remember enjoying it quite a bit. It has a New England kind of style, so uh, oh, if you want to see the can covered in hummingbirds. Oh yeah. All right, let's see how it smells. It smells like a juice bomb, but there is a funk. There's a hop funk on the end. It sneaks up on you. I have a feeling it will in the flavor too. All right, cheers everyone. Don't get no uh, foam on your nose. <laughs> that was a lot of foam. <laughs> that was a lot of foam. Um, Hoppier than expected. It kind of has a West Coast taste with a juice background. Somewhere between West Coast and East Coast on the IPA. So Midwest? 
It's in between. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Super tasty though. Mm. The juice I'm getting grapefruit and the pith as well. Um, a little bit of like the sweeter citrus, but no, mostly grapefruit. And then you have this, uh, it's smelled funky. It doesn't end funky. It ends piney actually. It has the uh, pine resin, rosin, resin, <laughs> resin. It's the, it's pine resin. Rosin is for violin bows. Resin is pines. Sure, sure. <laughs> it has that. Definitely a piney end to the flavor, uh, but quite delicious. And this is going to be super tasty while I finish up this hummingbird feeder. So we use the glass paint to stain the bottle here. Looking pretty good. This is one coat. I still might sneak in and do a second coat, but I am kind of liking the look. Uh, the color is nice. And once there's liquid in there, it'll look really good. So wait, time's out. I didn't get to taste the beer. Yeah. I want to taste the beer. I'm, I don't have a problem with you not tasting my beer. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like... A New England and a West Coast at the same at time. At the same time. Yeah. But they don't fight. No, they don't yeah, fight. They, yeah. they blend very smoothly. That's yeah. pretty nice. All right. Sorry about that, but I had to get paid. <laughs> my cameraman <laughs> wants his paycheck. I have the bottom painted except for the very, very bottom, and I'm not worried about the very, very bottom. It doesn't... I think it looks fine being red. Besides, if I get paint in here, you might not be able to turn this to move the little feet in and out. And I did not want to interrupt that ability of this bird feeder. Uh, I'm gonna peel off the masking tape. You will notice where the masking tape was, there are red spots. Because what I'm covering those red spots with will be large enough to completely cover them and nobody will ever see that it's sloppy. That is the trick of crafting with me. Just try to hide the fact that you were sloppy. And that is the trick of drinking with Chew. He hmm? tries to hide the fact that he was sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to be doing next is getting the flowers ready. So these were just purchased at the craft store. They do have rubbery petals. They're not um, like paper or the cheap fabric. These are like the, the nice ones. Pull off the stem. The petals come apart like this. There's also some plastic pieces in there to look like the stamen of the flower and everything. I found it easier to remove that part because what I need to do is make a hole straight through this whole thing for the bird feeder flower to go into. So what I did was went down inside and there's already a hole in there. I There is no way I'm going to be able to actually show you that. I'm actually going to push the stem up through the middle of the flower, pull that out. So I have now a hole. Do the flowers stick together? No, okay. they are loose petals. So make sure when you take it out to not throw it up in the air. Well, yeah, don't <laughs> do that. And then I have to find the hole again. I have a pair of scissors here. Um, find the hole again, press the scissors through, and I need to make that hole bigger because the little plastic thing for the bird feeder is bigger around than the hole for the stem was. So I got the scissors through, literally just gonna sit here and twist it back and forth a little bit because there's rubber in there. Don't stab your arm while you're doing it like I just did because I totally just stabbed myself <laughs> oh, in the geez. arm. Maybe I bring that blade down a little bit. Mm. <laughs> then press the petals out of the way inside and I'm gonna take one of these and try to shove it through there. If it won't go all the way through, I gotta make the hole bigger. If it will go all the way through, Hey, it went all the way through. But I can see the yellow coming through here and some of the excess plastic that's in the way. <laughs> there we go. Get that out of there. Once you get the yellow through completely, these are just going to press right into the bird feeder itself. So I got it through there. I have one that's already finished here and you can see down inside I have the little yellow flower in there. Each one I will take with my thumb Oh, you know, I got a beer sitting on the table. I... Yeah, I'll hold your beer. Oh, no, 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 I'll put it on the floor. No, it's, it's fine. okay, I'll, I'll hold your beer. I'll put it on the floor, it's <laughs> No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. Mm. I'll hold your beer. I'm always here to help. You poop. Once it's through, like that, I'm literally just going to press it very firmly into the bird feeder. 
and it stays. Ooh, very pretty. Give it a shake, nice and tight in there. And the birds officially have a little spot that they can, you know, drink from. Because that's what we all go to phase three, four is to drink. That's true. You're giving it for the, the hummingbirds can have their drink too. So they can have their beer. Yeah. Yeah. That was the whole point. I'm slow. It took me <laughs> uh, two days to realize that. No worries, darling. There it is. Got all of our flowers on. Next, we have our beer glass, our Weizen glass. That screws on here. I'm gonna make sure the petals are out of the way before I screw it down. Make sure that's on there tight. Last but not least, we have our foamy lid. I overpainted it, so I have like drippies and droops of the paint on here. I, I definitely overdid it with the paint trying to get as much of a beer head look as possible. So we screw that on the top. Normally, obviously you would fill this first. And I did pick up some cute little blue twine for the hanger. And boys and girls, we have finished. That was pretty cool. Our phase three beer hummingbird feeder. Okay, wait, wait for it. So I, I go to thrift shops a lot and I'm always looking for inspiration for crafts and things. And while we were at a thrift store, um, we found this cute little ornament. <laughs> okay, I had fun. I am ridiculously happy with how this turned out. It just looks cute as heck. Guys, another craft down. I'm gonna take this outside and get some good pictures though. Bye. Give me my beer, I gotta say goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. You can't say goodbye without a beer, silly. Thank you so much for joining us for this phase three brewing company craft. I really hope they like it. If you do hang it outdoors, obviously there may need to be touch-ups over time because the sun and rain will do weird things to your outdoor stuff. Everyone knows. It could be indoor or outdoor, but we do have this cute little beer hummingbird feeder for them and I'm super excited. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, please don't leave us untapped. Tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to miss one of our crafty journeys again. Thanks again. Have a great day. Cheers, everyone. Bye. That sounded more like a fly than a hummingbird. I was thinking a bee, like a bumblebee. Oh yeah, let me try this. That's a humming chew, not a hummingbird. How do you hum goodbye? What song has goodbye? I know everyone watching is going, this song, this song, and everyone's coming up with a hundred of them, but I honestly can't think or of it. Or well, you know. Da, 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 a Vieter sing goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Bye, everybody. <laughs>because no one wants to get stabbed while making a hummingbird feeder. Hummingbirds do not drink blood. They will not come for that. Well, I don't think they do. Ooh, vampire hummingbird. That'd be neat. Where would they put the fangs? At the very end. Or do you count the no. beak as a fang because it's pointy? Yeah. <laughs> and he goes after the plant from Little Hop of Horrors. I don't know what type of plant that Little was. Little shop. Little shop of horrors. Ah, mosquito bite. Okay. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm here, I, I, I'm, yeah. See, let's start again.
Uh, excuse me. I felt like I followed up. And now I'm not in the room so I can complain about her and do this and that. Even yeah, you I'm are Mike. Mike. So that works. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm Mallory. Oop, I'm tapping my microphone. How's that sound? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Everything's fine. Super excited. Whoa. <sighs> I need more beer.